That was a nice way to finish that up. That was awesome. That was really awesome. <coughs> That's why I need to hurry up and awaken it. it has rejected me. Look at the final blow. Where are you going? Destroy the core, right? You can't enter there ever. If you go in there, what's in here? It's the real her. Where a main body sleeps. Can I say something a little selfish? What is it? I'd like to s uh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go, boys and girls. Save the enemy. It's like, isn't that like a reference to the first game? Saving them? Changing their fate? She's the same as me. And I end up in a coffin still feeling despair towards the world. So someone has to wake her up. You are a god, you can make your own decisions. <coughs> Very Shin-like. Wake up, wake up. I want to grant you a wish, but my wish is to make the world a better place. <laughs> I'm trying to catch this fly, where is it gone? It's flying around somewhere. Let's go outside with you. <coughs> I'm sensing it ending up pretty soon, so I'm gonna mute myself and let you guys enjoy this final cutscene ending and whatnot. So, yeah, I'll be back during credits, I guess. We'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> レティシア。僕にはジュピエルやアルルがいたけど、そのせいで彼女は弾けた。だから手を差し伸べてあげる必要があったんだ。終わったな。本当の意味で、シンさん、あなたは本物の神様です。心から敬愛の意を表します。そう。感傷に浸るのは後だ。金目を失ったことでここは崩壊する。早いところ脱出するとしよう。ええ、行きましょう、シンさん。姉様たちも待っています。あ、帰ろう。そう。ずいぶん短い協力関係だったわね。まあ、形式として値切らせてもらうわ。ご苦労様。お互いにね。ところで、休戦協定を破棄する前に忘れ物を回収してほしいのだけど。ここは託児所じゃないのよ。あら、そう
いニュースだ。魔軍元帥が交代したわ。はあ。あ、あいつらめー。フェリスを見限りやがったな。で、あなたの処置なんだけど、もうここに置いておく戦略的な意味もないし、処分してしまいたいのだけれど、放っておくとまた悪さをしそうだし。このまま切り捨てた方が安全なのよねま、待ってフェリスはもういい子になったから本当？その言葉に虚偽はないわね分かってる分かってるってばフェリスは今ここにマリエル様への絶対の忠誠を誓うでありますあらそう元悪魔の作戦参謀というのも存外悪くないかもしれないわねははこのフェリス精神誠意展開のためマリエル様の恩ために働かせていただきますですはいうーなんでこんなことに地獄よここは地獄だわ何を言ってるのここは展開よヒエがうんそう。魔界で私を助けてくれたのそっかあのヒエンがだいぶぶつくさ言いながらだったけどねあれからあんたを追いかけてったけどちゃんと会えたのヒエンはそっかあんな強いやつでも死んじゃうものなんだねあああいつのおかげで僕たちは生き延びれたようなもんだ私も結局お礼言ってないんだよく考えたら名乗ってすらないお世辞にもいいやつじゃなかったけど命の恩人であることに変わりはないし死んだって分かったらなんだか心にぽっかり穴が開いたみたい知らない戦争って歴史の教科書でしか見たことなかったけど悲しいものだね僕にもまだわからないだけどいつか絶対にいつの間にか男らしくなっちゃって頼りにしてるわよ神様茶化すなよ私もあんたの関係者ってことでこれからも悪魔に狙われる可能性があるらしいしこのまま展開で世話になることにする今後ともよろしく神風でこのフェレス様に勝てると思ってんのかアーホー姉様あの人すっかり展開に馴染んじゃってますけどちょっと待遇を良くしてあげたら魔界の連中を見返してやるってノリノリだったわよもともと作戦立案能力と実行力には抜群の才能があったから私には魔界に裏切られたうさばらしをしているようにしか見えないのですが。一番上に据えてさえなければ無害どころかとても有益な能力の持ち主よ魔界も惜しい人材を手放したものね<笑>この調子で魔界を占拠して魔界と展開の両方の支配者になるってのも面白いかもこら調子に乗らないの変なことを考えるようならちょ冗談です冗談ですよ世界はマリエル様のためになんてねあらそう理解が早くて助かるわ今に見てなさい魔界も展開もこのフェレス様にひれ伏させてやるからとりあえず思考がダダ漏れになるのをどうにかした方が良いと思いますが。結局はまた戦争かやっとの思いでレティーシアを止めたのに本当ため息が出るよ仕方あるまい機械仕掛けの神が現れて全てを丸く収めてくれるほど現実は甘くはない休戦協定にしてもレティーシアを倒すために互いにやむを得ず一時的に共闘していたに過ぎないでも一時的にでも休戦できるなら
その一時的をもっともっと長くすることだってできるんじゃないのかその場合休戦する理由が今のところ共通の敵ぐらいしかないのが問題だなそれとも第二第三のレティシアに期待するかそそれは勘弁してほしいお二人ともこちらにいらっしゃいましたかジュピエルいい香りがするけどそれはコーヒーですいかがですかいただこうミルクと砂糖はあるかもちろんですどうぞってそれコーヒー入ってないからただの砂糖入りミルクじゃないのか私は甘ったるい方が好きなんだ糖分は脳の働きを強くするからなそれにこの美しい白このひとときの休息にぴったりじゃないかへえ白が好きとは意外だな実は苦いのがダメなだけなんじゃうるさいないいだろう別にへえ私はブラック派ですこの高い香りと苦みがたまりませんこの美しい黒い液体を眺めているだけで幸せな気分になりますじゃあ僕は砂糖とミルクを少々普通じゃないかここはボケるところだろいやいやここは3人で平和なひとときに感謝する場面だろお二人ともコーヒーが冷めてしまいますよさあさカップを掲げてくださいではこれからもずっと3人でいられるように。乾杯乾杯乾杯And that, boys and girls, was the Awakened Fate Ultimatum. It is finally done after who, who, however knows, whoever knows how long it went on for. Like six months, something that's similar to that. <coughs> but yeah, it's finally done. <coughs> and we can move on to our next project, it will be Tales of Zestria. And that will be uh, coming out. <coughs> will be coming out already, like by the time you see this. Uh, I think I'm on part 44 of releasing of this when I'm recording uh, this session, this final session. So uh, we'll be moving on to Tales of Zestria. I'll be focusing, I'll be focusing most of my time on that, uh, getting one or two videos out a day, which will be pretty cool. We're the same as last year with Tales of Zidia. One or two videos a day, decent chunks. <coughs> <coughs> I'll try not to have two small parts. And we'll be finishing up, I think parts on this will be 50. I'm hoping it will be 50. I'll try and cut it to 50, it'll be a nice easy number to get around. Especially with Tokyo Twilight finished at 50 as well. So having both up, both projects starting at the same time, then ending <coughs> at similar times and having the same number of parts, you can ask for anything more actually. <coughs> <coughs> That's pretty cool, ending both at 50 and whatnot. So, yeah, uh, we finished the game. I'll probably go from I'll go from my views again uh, once more, since last time I went through it, it was on Ario's end, if I wasn't mistaken. It was the first <coughs> end I got, and <coughs> yeah, gameplay fine. It was okay. Dungeon crawling. The abilities and stuff was pretty cool, extensive like skill upgrades, uh, story was pretty meh, it's very cliche, the characters are pretty cool though, the voice acting was very mediocre, music was decent, as you can hear from the soundtrack, 
soundtrack's pretty good, sound effects were decent. <coughs> <coughs> Actual length was okay. Difficulty was pretty good. It was uh, challenging. It wasn't easy, but it was challenging. <coughs> <coughs> it wasn't so difficult either that it was impossible to beat. It was challenging enough that you had to grind a little bit uh, to get through the game. I like that, that was pretty good. Like, extended the game length. CGs and arts was decent. Wish they kept the sprites from the first game though, but that's, that's just my opinion. Sprites look cooler than like the actual cartoonish style. Overall, it's not as good as the first game, but it's still pretty good. <coughs> I'm not sure uh, what I uh, rated it last time during Ariel's End. I think it was like 7 out of 10, or 6.5, or something similar to that. And we have all the song lists as well. So if you like the song, look, look them up, search them up on that good old YouTube, and listen to them. So because they were pretty good for like a uh, video game anyway. Well, JRPG uh, music is normally always pretty good. It's normally always like j poppy pretty decent background music and sound effects. Yeah, the cello, the actual like. Uh, classical side of the background music was really cool. Like during menus and stuff, that was pretty decent. The actual way it flowed though was kind of weird. It was like, yeah, apart from the choice system, it was very linear. It was like really linear. The dungeons were set out for you, you had to go through an event. You go through the event story wise, through the, finish the dungeon, start the dungeon, finish the dungeon, then you do the end event and you move on to the next chapter. It kept repeating and repeating. He could go back and like do like grinding on previous levels, but that was about it for freedom wise. There was not much freedom. <coughs> I also wish there was a way to like uh what do you call it? Create weapons like a blacksmith almost. Finding weapons on the ground was kind of a pain and having to buy them. And the actual upgrade system of weapons and like armor was pretty cool, but I wish they had more like choices for you for like armor, uh, maybe like a helmet, like as in the first game, more, like prop, uh, more armor options, leg armor, arm armor, more weapons. Skills were like broad though; they were pretty cool. The actual transforming stuff was pretty cool as well, <coughs> especially during that last battle, the ultimate form. That was really cool, so I must <coughs> give them props for that, but that's it. That's Finn. That's the Finn right there. You can see the Finn right in the corner. And I have the nice CG. Look pretty damn good CG. You screen cap that. If you get triple monitors, you're going to have the Ario, GPO, and the True End CG as well. Maybe there's an extra bit. Okay. More to the story. Hmm, you start the main scenario at level 1, so new game plus, during the main scenario is the boundary that connects fate to a story, uh, stories of encounters led by a strange fate, in any order you want. So side missions, next event, what's this? Mission 15, Liliel stories, Nelliel's, the story of the free girl Shana, Haruhi, what is this? Like, new game plus miss, um, new game plus side missions. I'll maybe do them <coughs> as a like a uh, as a side. I'll probably like this will be like the final <coughs> main story stuff. But maybe we'll keep recording and see if we can do these. I'll probably do like a side playlist or like a subsection or like point five point ones fifty point one <coughs> and whatnot. And that's that. Let me go through my stats once more, these are my items I had, crit rate, 
Paralysis and Add Confuse on Holy Aurora. Plus 28 to Hellheim Shield. Phasing Proof, Mimic Proof and Slip Proof. Left 8 Confuse Ring. I was level 53 at the end, 203 HP. 94 attack, 92 defense. Pretty good, I have a lot of money. Uh, let me check the storehouse, I have a lot of stuff up here. Layabouts. Oh my god, what is that? 50 HP. Holy cow. Shield a good minus three. That's good. That's really good. <coughs> I still have three revive gems left. I wonder if there's any like better items. Apparently not. But yeah, that will end it. That will end uh, the Awaken Fate Ultimatum like main story anyway. I might come back uh, to it to do uh, the side stories. Like, when I'm not busy, I'll come back and record a bit more of this. Since it's a pretty good game, I enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So, we're going to be ending the main Awakened Fate Ultimatum story here. But we'll, when we come back next time, we will do side stories that include... Liel, Neliel, The Freak Girls, Shana, Harrowy. I don't know how many floors, dungeons and whatnot there'll be, but... Let me check dungeons. Yeah, I got the same, same stuff here. Yeah, but we'll come back and do that, so, but for now, I really hope you guys enjoy watching this series, I enjoyed playing it. So this is the end of the Awakened Fate Ultimatum campaign, the main story. So yeah, I really appreciate if you leave a like, or even subscribe for the end of this campaign, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching, my name's Pinash, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you guys later.